is gonna be a magic ring with five single crochets but but if you don't know how to do a magic ring you can just chain two and then the second chain from the hook so one two this one right here you're going to put five single crochets in there so insert your hook yarn over pull through so that's one two three four five and then it kind of looks like a magic ring and it works just as well and in the first chain so one two three four five so this will be the first one you're going to do a slip stitch so insert your yarn and then just pull through just like that and then you have a total of five so one two three four five and now we're going to chain two and then we're going to be doing five double crochets in one stitch but in order to do that you're going to so you yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through and usually you would just like yarn from here but instead you're going to pull it up at the same height as the chain that you just made so it looks like this and then yarn over and pull through the first two loops so that will be number one. So we're gonna do that four more times, so five in total. So yarn over, pull all the way up. So that's two, three, four, one more, So you did five times, you should have six loops on your hook. And then once you have six, you're going to yarn over and pull through all of them. And then chain two. One, two. And then again, in the same stitch that we just worked in, we're going to do a slip stitch. So insert your hook right here and pull the slip stitch. So it should be looking like a puff flower. Like that. Okay, and then you're going to do the same thing all around. So uh, chain two, and then yarn over, insert into the next loop. So we just worked in the first one, so now it's the second one right here. And pull all the way up so it's leveled with the chain. And then ins uh, pull through two, so that's one. Two, three, four, five. And then once you do five, you should have six loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all of them, and then you're going to chain two one two and then in the same loop that we were just in the same stitch that we we're working with we're going to insert your hook again and then pull tightly to do a slip stitch and that's your second petal like that so if we repeat this three more times we should end up with something like this Okay, so now you're at your last petal and you chain two on the top and um, usually you would go into the stitch that you've been working with but for the last one you're going to be working in the next stitch. So this is the first chain that we started 
and right under there you should have a stitch so right here you're going to insert your hook and then do a slip stitch right there and then you can cut off your yarn and then yarn over and just pull through to tighten it and if your petal is looking like this you can just flip it over like that and then you should have something like this I also like to tie the back so you don't have any loose ends and cut it off okay so it's cute just the way it is um, but I also like to put um, the middle part on so I'm going to show you how to do that So here's a quick disclaimer, um, my white acrylic yarn um, makes a really squeaky sound with the hook so I may need to cut out, cut out the sound, um, but okay let's go. Okay, so first you're going to chain three. One, two, three. And from here you're going to work in the third chain from the hook. So one, two, three. So the first one that we were, the first chain that we made. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull it up so that it's leveled with the chain. And yarn over, pull through two, and we're going to be doing four. So it is squeaking, so I'm going to cut out the audio from here. Okay, so you should have five loops on your hook after doing four stitches in the same uh, in the same one here. And from here, you're just going to pull through everything and you can cut your yarn and just pull through right here. There, and that's it. You have the middle part. So to, in order to attach it, you're going to insert your hook anywhere uh, from the stitch from behind and then pull through the yarn like this and on the opposite side anywhere you can insert your hook again, then pull through and I like to tie, I just like to tie it. And then you can cut this part off and there you have a cute little flower.